hi guys. Don't know if that was on my head from a previous video. Um, hi guys, Stuart Wilson. Um, today in this episode, I'm well, no, this video I'm reviewing Doctor Who series five, episode thirteen, The Big Bang. This is the finale of series five, unless you count the Christmas picture. No, it's the finale of series five. It's another one of my favourites. Um, it's so good. It's very confusing to watch it again. If you're very young and watching it, watch it again and again. Then watch it again when you're older. So I do. I'm just, you have to really focus when watching it. We see stone things. I just realised that episode where all the Daleks were there and did not see a stone Dalek. So not all generations of the Dalek was in it. And I'm sure I did not see a war Dalek either. So see a moth you owe me an apology. But that's series 7, way above this video. Plus I still love that episode. And we have a rate we said, oh yeah, the previous episode of, uh, I reviewed a rate 9.99 out of 10. This episode I rate 9.99 out of 10. I'm going to come up with something else I can rate it higher in the future. Like 9.9 with it. Two stars out of four. I don't know. That's what I'll be doing in the future. So yeah, um, with the songs in there, we we'll find the doubt. We have to walk the doctor to prove what he's a human by making him angry so he punches him. Doctor gives the doctor Rory gets the doctor out of Pandora, which I like. Um, they put Amy in Pandora and what we see it. We see proof that Rory really does love Amy because he stays with her for a thousand, almost two thousand years. I mean, yeah, minus two, two centuries, but would you do that? Seriously? Um, yeah. We have songs in a time loop. So we got that, and they go back to where young, when young Amy, who is played by Amy, by Karen Gillan's cousin, keeping it in the family. Um, yeah, because Tardis is exploding, so it's the sun. So we have, to, and all time is there's no stars in the sky either. So. Yeah, it's quite a time we it's the hardest episode I've had to review. Um, so yeah, basically they run around the museum, find, think of a plan, run away from, keeping away from the Daleks, so the Doctor gets shot by the Dalek in the end, after the rescue with the song from the time loop TARDIS. Because like the way they rescue Amy, handprint of a previous generation. Well, not no younger self. I mean, um, I mean, as long as the time it goes, sorry, my love, sorry, my love. And then the doctor wipes himself out of time so nobody can remember him by flying the Pandora into the TARDIS, which closes all the cracks. But we find that in Time of the Angels, there was two versions of the doctor, both 11th, but. I call it, I'm going to call them Angel, Time and the Angel Doc and Pandora Doc. I'll call it Crack, crack Doc, but do you do, But then people would start going, oh, the Doc's a crackhead. Which he's not, he wouldn't touch the stuff. So yeah, um, he's. Yeah, so we see he's going through all this time. And then Amy brings him back at his before the wedding. See the doctor doing the dance. I may do um, how to dance like the doctor did. I don't know. I really hope I do. I'm looking forward to doing that if I do. I feel like I've got the dance moves in the book. The um, brilliant book of Doctor Who. Can't remember the year. 
yeah, and then loads of things are hinted at the end. Um, the adventure that's hinted that's said they're going on doesn't we don't actually see an episode, but that is when something big happens on the Tardis on the way there. Also, war is a human again. Everything is going okay, apart from there's loads of mysteries. We're going to find out who River is very soon. That's from what we were talking series five. We, know, we know who she is now. Now we don't know who the doctor is. <laughs> so yeah, um, bye guys.